So you're interested in building a F2P account, but you're confused on how to manage it from builds, resources, comps, and more. Well, look no further. I will provide all the answers for you since I managed a F2P account for a year. Before we start the video, I want to let you know if you have any extra questions or curious about something, be sure to stop by my Twitch and or Discord. It'll try to provide as much as I can. First off, as a F2P, you want to focus one element, which the best options are flame and altered. Focusing one element will allow you to heavily invest into it and allow for you to get strong overall. Flame is a cheap element and is strong with not many stars, whereas alter element weapons last the longest since it doesn't get power creep as often and allow you to play multiple roles. Here you can see that I do own one copy of Fiona, and I will be dropping Flame to go triple alter for solo content in the future. However, as of right now I plan to get A3 Fiona, since it is required as a healer for endgame. Since I already have Fiona 4 PC Matrix once I get A3 this healer account is done, since all I would need next is Lyra, which is now in standard. With Nanyan the new altered around the corner I recommend saving for her and Fiona. If you have Lin already that would now set you up for a meta alter team, or if you plan to budget, you can get Lin from the scratch card event for $10. Now the best roles for F2P are Healer Support Tank. Healer Support will allow you to run hard content and get carried by whales, allowing you to get all the rewards compared to being a F2P DPS. You should focus one of these roles first, before investing into DPs as a F2P since the return on investment is as high. The best matrix to invest into for F2P are support-based matrix since your main DPS will get replaced and supports last longer in terms of value. The matrix you should invest for first is Fiona because it will allow you to do solo DPS play and buff your team. This matrix is top priority while the other matrix set will be for your other support. For example, if you were running a flame comp like Liu Huo Lan Fiona for solo play, you would first get Fiona four-piece matrix then Lan four-piece matrix while the main DPS run two-piece Samir, two-piece Crow, two-piece Lyra. The best F2P matrixes from standard banner are Lyra, Saki, Zero, Nemesis, Samir, Crow, Coco. The reason for these matrix are to either buff your team's damage or buff your own for solo play. Buffing whales will allow for better and faster runs. Okay, that seems to be all that I have for today. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Matane, bye bye.